Hello, Walter. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Walter. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, Jader. Good evening. Hello, Jader. Hello. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Hi, fine. Thank you. Fine. How was your day at work? Very good. Very good. Uh, very good. Very good and very hard. Okay. Well, what about you, Carolina? How was your day? How are you doing? How do you feel? Um, Carolina? Hello? Nice Hello, how are you? <laughs> how are I'm you? Fine. I'm fine. Fine, perfect. What about you, Carlos? How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how was your day at work? Oh, uh, uh, pretty good. Okay, that's perfect. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Um, yesterday we were talking about food, right? Yes. yes. About traditional breakfast in different parts of the world. Yes. Let's check some vocabulary about meals. 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 Okay, the first meal of the day, it's called breakfast. This is what you have in the morning, breakfast. Okay, and we have some vocabulary here. Let's repeat, eggs. 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 This down. Down. Okay, eggs. Eggs. Bacon. 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 Toast. 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 Pancake. 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 Tomato. 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 Cake. 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 Butter. 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 Omelette. 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 Milk. 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 Cookies. 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 Fresh juices. Fresh juices. Yes. Yogurt. 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 British tea. British, British tea. 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 But the difference of the British tea is that they prepare it with, with milk. And the normal tea is hot water. Okay. Uh -huh. The British tea is with hot milk. Okay. Let's see for lunch is what you eat at noon. Okay, lunch. 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 Let's see some vocabulary lunch. for lunch. Rice. 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 Tacos. 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 Burger. 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 Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Barbecue. Food. Barbecue. Pizza. Barbecue. Pizza. Pizza. Fish. 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 Okay. Dinner is the last meal of the day at night. Dinner. 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 Okay. For dinner, look at this delicious fruit salad. Well, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> fruit salad. <laughs> fruit salad. Vegetable salad. Pasta. Salad. Pasta. 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 
Simple. That is comida al vapor. Okay. Uh huh. Stand food. Uh huh. Drinks. Drink. Drink. Mojito. 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 Coke. 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 Tea. 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 Coffee. 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 Water. 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 Smoothie. 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 Juice. 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 Milkshake. Milkshake. Okay. Uh, yeah, about cooking time, uh, we have a bowl. 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 Steam. 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 Fries. 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 And barbecue or roasted. Barbecue. Barbecue. Roasted. Okay, fruits. Fruits. Fruit. Fruit. Apples. 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 Banana. 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 Orange. 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 Peach. 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 Pineapple. 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 Mango. 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 Pear. Yeah. Tangerine. 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 Avocado. 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 Watermelon. 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 Berries. 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 Cherries. 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 Melon. 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 Lemon. 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 Strawberry. 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 Grapes. Grapes. Coconut. 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 Pears. Pears. Plum. 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 Kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. That's kind of like something about fruits. What and is the fig? Fig as ego. Um, y lo que estaba a la par? Plum. Okay, esto es higo, pig, es higo, y plum son las ciruelas. Ah. Ajá, ciruela, plum. But this is um, to talk about food using frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. After we use the frequency of the adverbs, los adverbios de, de frecuencia sirven para dar una idea de qué tan seguido uno hace las cosas o no las hace, right? Let's repeat, we have always. 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 Usually. 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Never. 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 Okay. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Never. 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 Let's see how it works. ¿Cuál es la diferencia eh, o, 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 entre ever y never? Uh, ever es como decir alguna vez. Y never es nunca. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here we have a, a little short explanation. Okay, when you say always, it's the hundred percent of the times. Cuando nos referimos a always, es algo que usted hace todas las veces. Siempre, siempre, siempre. For example, I can say I always, um, the example say I always watch TV at night. Está diciendo que siempre mira televisión por la noche. Es algo que hace todas las noches. Por eso dice aquí 100%. Okay. 
<coughs> almost always is a 90% of the time. Eh, no es siempre, es casi siempre. Almost always. She almost always eats breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then we got usually. Is something that you do like uh, seventy hundred percent of the time. Seventy-five percent. Sorry. Es algo que usted hace como un setenta y cinco por ciento del. Es casi es usualmente. For example, we have Mike usually gets up late. Okay. Then we have often. Often is con así algo seguido con frecuencia, pero no siempre sería como un 50% de las veces. Okay. I often exercise in the morning. Okay. Ahí estamos diciendo que con frecuencia nos ejercitamos en la mañana. Okay. Now, sometimes quiere decir es algo así como algunas veces. Sometimes. Can you read the example, Carlos? Can you read the example? Okay, okay. Uh, they sometimes go to the Starbucks. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, seldom, rarely, seldom y rarely son básicamente lo mismo. Es para decir rara veces. Seldom y rarely, como ven, son básicamente lo mismo, raras veces, seldom. Can you read the example with seldom, Monica, please? I seldom see him. I seldom see him. Okay, very nice. Can you read the example with Radley, um, yeah, there? Okay, I uh, rarely see him. I rarely see him. Okay, very good. Now we have hardly ever. When you use hardly ever, it like means like como algo que casi nunca hace o apenas, apenas hace. Hardly ever, okay? Can you read the example with hardly ever, Walter? I hardly <laughs> ever see him. Okay, I hardly ever see him. Very nice. Now, never, you can never, it means never significa nunca. Zero percent, as you can see, is zero percent of the time. Algo que nunca hace, zero percent. Uh, can you read the example with never, um, Gustavo? We never come to class late. Okay, we never come to class late. Okay, uh, now with this explanation, I would like you to complete the exercises that we have. Complete the blanks below with the best adverse of frequency. Some sentences may have more. Okay, so may, may have more than one option can be possible. Do you have any questions so far? Mm, no question. No questions, okay. Okay, let's complete these sentences with the frequency advert that you think is the best to complete it. Only the first nine. Vamos a completarlas en el cuaderno con un advert de frecuencia. 
Por ejemplo, la primera, it says, I was late for work only one time last year. Solo una vez llegó tarde al trabajo el año pasado. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el adverb que mejor complete ahí? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Ah, pero dice, I am, har uh -huh. I am hardly ever late. Uh -huh. I am hardly ever late. That's the best to complete that one. Let's do the rest. Vamos a hacer los demás y luego vamos a chequear para practicar. Ok. 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 I was. I was.
Okay, let us check your answers. A uh, volunteer for number three. I am volunteer. Okay, thank you. Very file file only one Failed. test in high school. Excuse me. Failed. Failed. Uh -huh. Mary failed only one test in high, in high school. She almost always aced her test. Excellent. Well done. Thank you so much. A volunteer for number four? I am a volunteer. Okay. I always remember to do my homework. I never forget to do it. Excellent. That's the way. Next, Carlos. Uh, the five is... Number five, yes. Uh, Steven seldom goes to a cinema. Mm -hmm. He rarely mm -hmm. see movies. That's okay. Very nice. Nice job. I volunteer for number six. Yo. Okay, yes. Yeah. She saw a doctor for the first time in three years. She seldom gets sick. Okay, excellent job. Number seven, volunteer. I volunteer for number seven. I get up at five o'clock seven days a week. I always get up early. Okay, very good. Number eight, Pedro, do you have number eight? It's always hot and, and sunny. We're alive. Where That's I live. Why where I live. That's why I, I don't know. Mm. I never. Never. I never, I never, I never see snow. Mm -hmm. Never see snow. Good. Uh, number nine, a volunteer. Do you ever drink coffee? Yes, but only Usually, not often, just a few times a week. Okay, that's nice. So that's not really, really difficult topic. It's kind of simple. As you can see, it's part of the topics that we have in the platform. Um, well, we use them like, like this, okay? First, you have the subject, and this you can see. In this couple of sentences, you can see. You have the subject. In the example, the subject is I, okay? Uh, after the subject, you place the adverb of frequency. After the adverb of frequency, you place a verb. And then you may have a complement. The only advert, there is an exception here. You can see, you can see here, it's a sometimes I eat breakfast. Or you can say I sometimes eat breakfast. Normalmente el orden que ellos llevan es este, sujeto, frequency adverb, verbo y complemento. Pero hay una excepción en cuanto a sometimes. Sometimes puede ir al inicio de una oración. Pero esa es una excepción. Solo sometimes. Uh, en este caso vamos a quedarnos con que sometimes puede ir al inicio de la oración. Los demás no. Y puede decir sometimes I eat breakfast. Entonces cambiaría, ¿ok? Uh, sometimes, luego sujeto, luego verbo y luego complemento. Luego por lo regular sería así, sujeto. Adverbio de frecuencia, verbo y complemento. ¿Ok? Ok. 
Okay, now let's put the adverbs in the correct place. En este ejercicio tenemos que colocar el adverbio que está en paréntesis en el lugar adecuado. Por ejemplo, acá dice, what do you? Este, en el caso de la pregunta, cambia un poquito, right? Do you? Y luego el adverb de frecuencia. Después del sujeto, va el adverbio de frecuencia, luego verbo y luego complemento. Eso es en el caso de la pregunta. Por eso quiere decir, what do you? Usually. Usually have for breakfast. So, esto es en el caso de la pregunta. En caso de la pregunta, va después del sujeto. Okay. ¿Cómo les quedaría la siguiente? El adverbio que van a usar es often. ¿Cómo quedaría? Well, I often have coffee and cereals. Ajá. Well, I often have coffee and cereals. After the subject. Ajá. After the subject. It's always after the subject. Now, to continue, how would you write this one? Do you, do you ever eat breakfast at work? At work. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Good. And in this case, sometimes. I don't idea sometimes. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. That's perfect. Now, do you eat rice for breakfast? Let's place usually. I don't idea usually. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? The answer, no. No, I, I hardly ever have ever. rice. I hardly ever have rice. Ok, no sé si ya las copiaron. Las copiaron las preguntas. No. No. Ok, I'll give you two minutes. Dos minutos para que copien. Solo copien las preguntas. What do you usually have for breakfast? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? And do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Ich. Okay, time finished. Now, what you're going to do with this is you will ask the question, but you will give your own information, okay? Eh, van a hacer las preguntas, pero van a dar su propia información. Like, for example, what was the first question? ¿Cuál era la primera pregunta? What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, what do you usually have for breakfast? Well, I usually have um, sweet bread, coffee, and beans, cheese, and bread. Mm -hmm. So you have to give your an answer. Tienen que hacer la pregunta y dar su propia respuesta. Yeah? I will divide you into the sections so you can practice with your classmates. Okay. Click join o unirse. No sé si lo tienen en inglés, les va a aparecer join. Si lo tienen en español, les va a aparecer unirse. Lo voy a tener en secciones para que practiquen speaking con esas preguntas. 
hacen la pregunta entre ustedes y responden de acuerdo a su propia información. Ok. Ok. Breakfast, um, coffee and beans only. Okay, um, usually have you? For breakfast. I usually have for breakfast, um, coffee and eggs with bread. Okay. What about you, Monica? I usually have for breakfast, coffee and bread, sweet bread, only. Good. Okay, and little B, will I have coffee and cereal often? Que often es, que significa often? Siempre. No, often no. es como decir seguido o con ah, frecuencia, sí. bastante seguido, es como un 50% de las no. veces. Lo hace, es algo que usted hace la mitad del tiempo. Oh, okay. Estamos hablando de una semana, digamos que es algo que hace tres veces en la semana. Often es como la mitad del tiempo. Ok. Ok, continue. Do you eat uh, breakfast at work? ¿A uh, quién? Yeah, Carolina. Ok, Carolina, oh. repite. Do you eat breakfast um, at work? I, I never, I never eat at work. Desk. También tomo mi, mi desayuno en mi escritorio prácticamente. In English. <laughs> And do you usually eat rice for breakfast? I I always breakfast at my desk. Good. Continue. Mm. And do you ever eat rice for breakfast? No, I usually have rice. Okay. Uh, Okay. 
Okay, I think that everybody is back again. Yes, everybody is back again. Okay, what else do we have about food? We have this other presentation that we can use. We are going to, and this is how often is the question, okay? La pregunta es que estamos practicando es how often. Eso es para saber con qué frecuencia o qué tan seguido sucede alguna actividad, right? We're going to look at the picture, read the answer, and choose the correct word to ask the question. Okay, that's a picture. Never. Always. What is the question here? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? I, how often, often, how often do you? How often do you? Do you, you always brush, do you brush, brush your teeth? teeth? Okay, la pregunta is how often. Después de how often es el do. Para preguntarle a, you, a, a ti, para preguntarte a ti es how often do you do you brush the teeth? Brush uh -huh. the teeth. How often do you brush your teeth? Pedro, how often do you brush your teeth? Always. I always. I always. How my how I brush my teeth? I always brush my teeth. Okay. Repeat, I always brush my teeth. I always brush I always my teeth. Brush my okay. Brush my teeth. Can you ask the same question to another classmate, Pedro? Podría hacerle la misma pregunta a otro compañero. How often do you How, how often do you brush your teeth? Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, there. Okay, I brush my teeth always. I always. I always. I always. I always brush my teeth. Okay, I always brush my teeth. Yeah, there. Can you continue and ask the next question? How often you brush? Uh, how often you brush? Tied up. Tied up. Tied up. This is arreglar, okay? Ajá. Poner en orden, limpiar, arreglar. Ajá. Tied up. How often do you? Tied up your room. How often tied up? No, how room? often do you? How often do you tie up your room? Excellent. How often do you tie up your room? A quien le pregunta ya there? Alfredo Flores. Alfredo, repita la pregunta ya there. How often? Tyro, your room. How often do you? Do you? Uh, excuse me. How often do you tire your room? Aquí, Alfredo. I sometimes tire my room. Okay, very good, Alfredo. Ask the next question. How often do you help my parents with the shopping? Your parents. 
your parent with uh -huh. the shopping? Repeat the question. How often do you help your How parent with the shopping? How often do you help your parent with the shopping? A quién? Oh, Carlos Romano. Okay. I sometimes help my parents with your shopping. With the shopping. With the shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, continue with the next one, Carlos. Okay. <sighs> How, how often do you wash the dishes? Mm. Blanca. I always the dish, but I don't like it. What is the correct here? Wash up or sweep? I don't know. Sweep. Yes, sweep okay. is the correct action. Mm -hmm. How often does do? Ahí vamos a preguntar con das cuando sea tercera persona singular das. How often does Sue sweeps the floor? Yes. yes. She in the answer it says Sue always sweeps the floor in the morning. Okay. Any questions so far? Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. Any, no questions. No. Okay, as you can see here, aquí tienen otro ejemplo usando tercera persona singular. How often does? No usamos do porque estamos refiriéndonos a tercera singular. How often does your father do the laundry? Uh -huh. According to this example, the answer is my father sometimes does the laundry. Okay. okay. Let's check out the next one. What? The correct is wash up. How often does she wash up? The dishes, she sometimes washes up, or she sometimes washes up the dishes. Okay. Right. And how are you doing with the platform? ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Ya llegaron a esta parte? No. No han llegado a los frequency adverbs. Yes, yeah, I am. Estaba fácil, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, this exercise and part B is on a scramble the sentences. Vamos a, como dice ahí, desenredar, ¿verdad? Desenredar las oraciones. Vamos a formar palabra, la, la oración con las palabras que están aquí. 
I have breakfast on never weekend. El orden correcto es I never have breakfast on weekends. Okay. Okay. Vamos a arreglar la 2, 3 y 4. Les voy a dar unos dos minutitos para que hagan eso. En su notebook. Have you finished? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, Luis, what is the number two? Luis? Okay, no, no is in Blanca. What is the number two? I hardly ever eat at work. Okay, I hardly ever eat at work. Creo que me le falta una palabra que no puso. Snacks. Snacks. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh -huh. it's not. So, so what would be? I, I hardly ever eat a snack at work. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much. A uh, volunteer for number three? Yo, Yader. Yader, okay. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Okay, that's the answer. Now, um, number four. My, my. Okay. Uh, I often have um, dinner, with, dinner with my family. Okay, very nice. Now, you have an extra exercise to do in part C. It says rewrite the sentences from part B with your own information. Tienen que reescribir las cuatro oraciones, pero con su propia información. For example, in, ne in number one, it says, I never have breakfast on weekend. En mi caso, siempre, siempre, siempre tomo mi desayuno los fines de semana. Entonces, yo escribiría, I always, I always have breakfast on weekend. Ok. I'll give you a couple of minutes so you rewrite the sentences. Tienen que escribirlas con su propio um, información. Lo que van a ir cambiando va a ser el adverbio de frecuencia. Okay, I'll give you, um, I'll give you two minutes, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, it's time to check your work, uh, volunteer. I am volunteer. Okay, read your sentences, please. Okay, I usually have breakfast on weekend. Continue, read the four, read the four sentences. I rarely eat a snack at work. I okay. seldom eat pasta for dinner. I always have a dinner with family. Okay, it's dinner. Dinner. Excellent job. Another volunteer? Carolina yeah. and then Pedro. Vamos a escuchar a Carolina y luego a Pedro. I always have breakfast on weekends. Yes. I rarely eat snack at work. I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. Okay, excellent I, job. I uh -huh. usually have dinner with my family. Okay, perfect. Well done. Pedro? Okay, I, I always have breakfast on weekends. I always eat snack at work. I usually eat pasta for dinner. I sometimes have dinner with my family. Perfect. Well done, Pedro. Good job, Gustavo. I always have breakfast on weekend. Sometimes I eat a snack at work. I rarely eat pasta for dinner. I usually have dinner with my family. Perfect. Well done. Do we have any other volunteer? Yo, Jader. Okay, Jader. I always have breakfast on weekend. I never eat a snack at work. I seldom eat pasta for dinner. I always have dinner with my family. All right, excellent. Well done. Do we have any other volunteer before we finish? I am volunteer. Okay, I, Blanca, thank you. I always have breakfast on weekend. Okay. I I always eat snack at work. I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. I usually have usually uh -huh. usually. usually have dinner with my family. Okay, perfect. Very well done. Congratulations, guys. I see you have been uh, doing an excellent job with the uh, adverse of frequency. So remember to practice in the platform. This is the section four. So remember to always complete the exercises. And uh, if you don't have any question, no. no? 
Then see Una you place. tomorrow, guys. Thank you for clicking. Hey, see, you. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Sleep well. Bye.